What's up guys, this is Hunky Donkey and today we're going to go over our team builder for ADL week 1 versus Cheese. So, Cheese has a pretty scary team, all the Uber's teams are pretty cracked, but it's this one is still pretty, pretty strong. Uh, they got Zygarde, Complete, Mega Blastoise, Mew, Sneasler, Rillaboom, Ferrothorn. Sylveon, Incineroar, Excelgore, and Zipstrika. So, you know, we're gonna bring in some heat. I'm excited to show you guys. So, first we have the count, the glass score. So, we're going for like a uber defensive, super defensive set this week with high horsepower because instead of earthquake because of the terrain from Rillaboom. Toxic spikes, U-turn, and defog. So it's just in here to be a Sneasler check. Maybe a Rillaboom check unless Grassy Glide is like banned in or just like what hammer or like any Rillaboom is banned in. It does well, decently well against Ferrothor blocking any Thunder waves or in getting rid of its hazards. And once the Ferrothorn one is gone, maybe the Sneasler too. I can set up Toxic Spikes, get some chip, flame just in case. Um, Something like Zygarde comes. It could have Lumberry, but either way, if it has Lumberry, it could have Outrage. So. I just want to get as much chip as possible. Something like Mega Blastoise, which can shell smash in this league. It's going to be hard to deal with once again if it like subs up. And uh, I don't manage to get rid of the sub in time. Because then it's a free shell smash and they pretty much win the game. So yeah, that's why I have T-Spikes instead of something like Dual Wimpy. Alright, next up we have the Vaporeon. Oh, this is the heat I'm talking about. Okay, hear me out. Vaporeon here. Vaporeon is our Rillaboom check. I know it sounds insane, but hear me out. I let's say Gliscor and Vaporeon have like perfect synergy with each other. I wanted to like once I draft the glass score I wanted to play like before and my logic and this is because it covers the ice weakness and water weakness that uh glass score has. So naturally let's say I U turn into Glass Score, right? I mean like Glass Score I U turn into Vaporeon on like uh I don't know, like an uh Incineroar or uh Black Meg Blastoise. I get, I like absorb whatever water shenanigans happen. Now the Blastoise probably doesn't want to stay in unless Terrain plus the pulse, uh, Crazy Terrain comes, but we still got Rindenberry for that. I Sunny Day, when they, as they, as Sunny Day, as they switch up to Rillaboom and Ferrothorn and hit their ass with the Weather Ball, as long as. There is no, it's not abandoned admin wood hammer from Rillaboom. Rindleberry should be able to um eat anything Ferrothorn and Rillaboom. Um, Ferrothorn and Rillaboom uh, hit towards Vitorian thanks to Rindle. And because I am worried about wood hammer, we have. Orbeetle. So, Orbeetle is a Reflect, Sticky Web, Energy Ball, and Bug Buzz. I did EV my Vaporeon to always hit, uh, EV, always live a uh, Power Wave from Ferrothorn or uh, uh, Grassy Glide from Rillaboom, but just in case, I'll jump beating too, but just in case, I have the Reflect with Light Clay up. Didn't need Light Screen this week, because if you could see, there's Special Attackers. It's Blastoise, which, again, is a bit scary, but I can wallet with Vaporeon, but I also have some on-second outspeed it before Shell Smash. But 
Inke, I still have energy ball to hit it anyways. Bug buzz from some nice stab against a Rillaboom and Mew. And lastly, webs. So I can make the Rillaboom slow enough, hopefully. So Vaporeon can work its magic. I can also do webs are just useful against like Zygarde complete, especially if it's a DD. Up, Unburden, and Sneasler. Uh, or it might not even be unburdened, but check out because this is terrain. But it's uh, webs are always nice to have against it. Something fast, like even if the Excel Gore or Substrack come, which I kind of doubt in this on Mew, but still. Overall, you can't complain about webs. Alright, next up, we have Chin Pao. Chin Pao is a uh, banded classic Breaker Sun with. Crunch, Ice Shard, Sacred Sword, and Ice Spinner. It's supposed to outspeed something. My brain is funny. I think it outspeeds Sneasler in that one. It's not. It doesn't have an unburden boost. Yeah. All right. That was my bad. Excel Excel Guard does outspeed it, but it doesn't really eat an Ice Shard that well to begin with. And I already have like it can't Excel Guard can't really do much to like Lucario or Vaporeon or. Glass cord if it well maybe water shark in but still shouldn't do that much. It's just here to come and click a button. Uh, ice shard, ice spinner is there. And I have ice spinner still bicycle crash because uh, I don't want to miss first of all, but also because if I can ice spinner and get rid of terrain before sneezer comes out and does not get the grassy seed on burden boost, it'll be really nice for me. And I shards for a nice priority in case like DD Zygarde gets too crazy. And or uh if I want to outspeed Grassy Glide from Riddle Boom. It's just a, a Sacred Swords for Incineroar for Fair Thorn. Yeah. Alright. Next up is the with the Mega Lucario. We're going with the physical variation this week. Enough speed EVs to outspeed the... Wait, what am I outspeeding? The Mew. Oh, shit. Okay, good thing I checked that just now. Let me, like... Boop. Let me just... You're 328, you're 329. 328. Okay. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, I just put I just like uh, have enough speed to invest in uh, to outspeed the Mew and everything else with to attack and defense respectively it's good coverage sword stance if it can like catch something switching out so bullet punches for, and close combat are nice stab options hits uh, Sylveon super effectively hits Incineroar super effectively it just does a nice, it hits Fair Thorn super effectively, it just does a nice chip and damage throughout the entire team. So, and Ice Punch is there for the Rillaboom, but also mostly to Saigar. It's nice for Rillaboom, but uh, yeah, the webs are gonna be nice in case if it does, Saigar does DD, I could still outspeed. I initially had like Trailblaze and Earthquake, but Earthquake. Um, one gets weakened by terrain, and the only thing that really gets hurt by it is the Sneeze Slayer, which probably is going to outspeed me anyway, and I could just CC the uh, Incineroar. I also initially had Trailblaze, but since I had Web Slap, and Trailblaze isn't really, I just felt like Swords getting with the uh, attack boost setup is more important for me here. And last up, we have the Magnezone. You see, as you can see, no Thunderbolt, or I think the only electric uh, move we have is Volt Switch. Well, if you look, <coughs> I EV'd my Magnezone, excuse me, by the way, I EV'd my Magnezone to always trap Ferrothorn for one, in case Vaporeon doesn't take care of it. I, I have a Chopper Berry in order to live any hit from Mega Blastoise and get it would beat its ass with the Volt Switch. I had Toxic instead of Thunderbolt because, uh, just in case, like, 
Zygarde or even like Rillaboom thinks it's a free switch in, into it, uh, I can still punish uh, the, the switch in with it. Toxic. And lastly, Flash Cannon for some nice stuff against the uh, Sylveon and the uh, non resistant uh, steel Pokemon as well. And yeah, guys, that is the team. I'll see you guys for the battle. Okay, guys, we are live. Let us challenge. Good luck, have fun to our opponent. Let's have a good time. Okay, while I wait, let me get the team builder up. See what you got. Which is cheese. So, game plan, Ferrothorn. With Ferrothorn, I have a lot of Ferrothorn counters with the Magnezone. And... <laughs> The Torian, which is so really funny to say. I got Mega Lucario on the back. I'm probably gonna use this as a cleaner, but if I can find a chance to get a Swords Dance off, that would be really nice. I could also. I'm depending between my leads, either. Not Glyscore, because I don't have rocks. I do have T Spikes. So. I could get a Reflect up with Orbital. I could go Orbital lead, of course. I don't think any possible leads. Maybe Incineroar for the Intimidate Fake Out. Okay, we're here. We are here. Good luck, have fun to our opponent. Alright, so he brought the. Okay, Rillaboom, Blastoise, Zygarde, New, Sylveon. Alright, that's good to know. No fair throwing. Perfect. Uh, jeez, I kind of already forgot, like, half the months. Okay, no, it's center on which is really nice. I think I want to lead... Orbino. So there's not much you can do. Sylveon kind of wilds the set, but, like... Okay, real loot does come out. Cool, cool, cool. Grassy Sea? Uh, predicting a U-turn comes out. There's nothing knock off the 64.1 to 75.9 percent. Uh, two things I can do. I can get a reflect up. I could get a sticky arms on. As you can see, I have, like show decks here to help me out with the calcs instead of like just switching. I also have the damage cal. All right. Anyways, uh, let's see. Sticky webs or reflect? Sticky webs reflect. I think I'm gonna go reflect. Fake out, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. But I still knock off, unless this crits knock off. You're not banded, obviously, so knock off shouldn't be too much damage. I'm still gonna reflect. Yeah, okay. Fair, fair. Alright, uh, knock off does around 21 to 25.6%. I could go for a nice bug buzz here, get some damage off. Hmm. What do I want to do? See, a good thing is, Vaporeon won't have to fade. I can. If I can, like, just stall out terrain just for a little bit. I think Terrain Pulse Blastoise won't like do much. I'm gonna go to web. Acrobatics, nice, nice. Interesting attack by my opponent. Luckily refle getting reflect off was crucial then. Hmm. What to do? What to do? How much did Acrobatics do again? 35.2. I don't want to switch in Gliscor because of a potential knockoff. Any grass move will instantly probably it will like do a lot of damage to Vaporeon. Huh? So, hmm, I do. I don't think you have Drain Punch, or you'll go for Drain Punch. If uh, how much would Ice Punch do to Rillaboom? Yeah. 
Talk about extra code jump beating something. Okay, uh, jump beating, grassy glide, something. I'm gonna just double to. I mean, not double. I'm gonna go into Lucario. Okay, he, he has justified. Perfect. You get the uh, knockoff boost. That, that was incredibly clutch, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> um, I could go. The sneeze get outspan. Well, what's the speed here? So, if you look here, Sneasler, Sneasler's 372, Mega Lucario's 355. 372 times 2 is around 74, 744. 744 divided by 1.5 is uh, a number. <laughs> it's a number. So, 744 divided by 1.74 divided by 1.5 is 496. So, it's still good outspeed. Damn, okay, I, I think I I want to get... Oh, he forgot nicknames, that's sad. Uh, poor guy. So, I'm gonna... Hmm, I could get some really big ship right now. Okay, I think I do... I want to play a little bit safe. And go for... Sword Stance. Oh, jeez. How much would Bullet Punch do to Sneasel? Okay, I'm gonna uh, CC. Alright, perfect, perfect. Sneasel comes out. Oh, but the damage boot. The... Alright, fair, fair. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Does Bullet Punch kill? <laughs> Holy shit, I was not expecting. Hmm, okay, you are plus one defense. If you're even like, let's just assume max HP. And max defense. Like a bullet punch should always kill. Unless you're like a bold nature or something, but... I doubt that's the case. Wow, I was not expecting that much damage. Okay, so a few things could happen. Uh, Zygarde can come out, probably. Well, the plus one and attack really came in clutch. Shit, man. Oof, I really just want to ice punch. I really just want to ice punch here. But... What do I do? Okay, let's say the dude subs up, right? He subs up. I go... I just go for Porion. Hard for Porion, probably. annoying to deal with. Okay, if I switch to Vaporeon, Thousand Arrows is 42 to 50%. So I am gonna go Glyscore. How much would Glyscore take here? Ooh, but if I get Glare... You know what, I'm going Orbital. Or, should I not go Orbital? Oh god, okay. I really do not want to get Glared right now. But I also don't want to bring in Magnus, so... I think the play... So they just sack. Oh boy, this is annoying. I think... Hmm... Should I go Orbital? Orbital? Or... Okay, I really don't think he would go for knockoff. I'm bringing in Glyscore. Uh, if not, you play. Thousand waves. Immune. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, no glare. Few things. What could come in here? Okay, let's 
Let's get some chip. How much would Ice Beam do? Ice Beam will do around 72 to 92.3%. But that's not like counting. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go Victorium. Get a Ice Beam. I'm not sure if Zygarde will outspeed still, because I am a fully defensive invested in Victoria. But let's just see. Okay, I am faster. Let us go Hyporia. If you substitute okay, coil, coil. So this was the move. Genuinely, this was the move. I bring in Ice Beam. Always, always ice, ice beam. I do not think anything here can kill. But I'm... Okay, 4%. Big chip, big chip. Well, Outrage. Yeah, Outrage obviously kills. What was I thinking? Would Ice Punch kill them? Can I finish this thing off with Ice? How much does Outrage do here? Outrage does 40. Damn. Our Vaporeon attack is just. It's gone, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, I still have some stuff to do. Take care. Ooh, I actually have. Outrage does 42 point. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Would Ice Punch kill? Ice Punch will kill I think I just want to Ice Shy. Ice Spinning. I don't want to risk anything. Let's just go for Ice Spinning. Um... Glowy? Sacred Sword does a substantial amount of damage. I mean, there's no... Yeah, this should always kill. Alright, well, our Vaporeon check is, is gone, so uh, I'm good. Ooh. What do I do here? The Vaporeon was so good against Blastoise. I'm predicting the Aura Sphere to come out. Or even like a Rapid Spin. Shit. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. I'm in a tight, still in like a tough spot. I'm thinking you have like water coverage, obviously. Maybe ice beam or sphere, terrain pulse, something else. Hmm. Do we s I don't want Glyscore to go down either. So no, let's just. I guess we have to bring in Orbeal, right? Can I just get rid of the Blastoise? Can I just like... Oh, no, that's not, that's not a good idea. Okay. I think I'm just gonna sack Orbeal. Here we go, Rapid Spin, probably. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go for a uh, energy ball. Are you faster? Because we can get uh, some immediate damage, which is really nice. Let's say you're like max Pedav. It'll still do around 18.5 to 21.8 percent, but that's not ex shell smash. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That is a tad scary, just a tad. But a combination of like bullet punch, if you and ice shard, might be able to take care of this thing. What if you go for like aura sphere? It still does eighty six point four to one on one. All right, good to know. Good to know. Uh, 
Um, so the few things I can do here, I can. S I need the. Oof. I can still beat this thing because. As you can see, this is assuming max HP, Blastoise. What should I do? Okay, I'm gonna Ice Shard. See how much damage that does. Fear is zero. And how much would Bullet Punch do after? 20, 40, it's a roll. It is a roll. But it's likely in our favor. I'm just gonna Ice Shard. Hopefully this does enough damage. Okay, big chip, big chip. Maybe I could have just gone Magnus on there, but... Oh yeah, that Mew is gonna be rough. To deal with. Yikes, okay. Um... Hmm. Should I just go Bullet Punch? Should I go Bullet Punch? Alright, please kill. <laughs> please kill. I'm begging you. Wait, how much did the Ice Shard do? 29? Um... Ice Shard does 26. Alright. Oof. Okay, it's not over yet, but... This is still, like, great. It's amazing chip. I think I want to bring in Magnus on here. Actually, I'll bring in Blastcore. Flamethrower comes out. Ooh. Alright. Hopefully, you don't have Ice Beam. Otherwise, I'll have to bring in Magnus on here. Flamethrower does 59.6. Um. Mm. Hmm. Okay, this is hard. This is a bit rough. Alright, Rillaboom. Rillaboom comes out. How much would Drink Punch do here? How much would Drink Punch do? 62.74. Alright. I'm here. I'm gonna fake out probably. I'm just gonna get some T spikes in. And get some immediate chip. Big chip, big chip. You could knock off here. I don't like. See why. What? What, uh, what can I do? Who? <laughs> as long as I have Lucario alive. I guess Magnus are too. Alright, perfect. Big chip, big chip. A friend of mine, uh, Doge, he told me to have Dill Wing Beat. I probably should have had instead of Defog, but I I just didn't, didn't want Hazard. I, like, I, I, I just really didn't want Hazard. Okay, I don't want to bring... This is an easy switch to... Um... <clears throat> to Magnuson. Mystic Fire, 7, good golly. Alright, that's fine, cuz... Good god. <laughs> uh, Hyper Voice is 657 to 67. I think I do, I just sack. Oh, why should I kept Choice Scarf instead of Chapel? Uh, flash, if it just if it just was able to <laughs> nuke this thing, it would have been so nice for me. It would have been super nice. How much would Mystical Fire do to like uh, Lucario? Okay, I'm just gonna go for Flash Cannon. Okay, double into Real Boom. Interesting play. 
kind of interesting thing, but I, I don't get it because I can just if this is just a free switch in for uh, for uh, Glasgow, right? Okay, I'm I'm a little confused by the play, but I mean we'll take it, right? We will take it. Does U turn kill? Okay, yeah, U turn. Uh, honestly, can I just high horsepower and call it and get like some damage off? So if I do U-turn, right, I bring in like, I'll force him bring in like, uh, Lucario, and Lucario won't eat a flamethrower that well, I believe. If I go, if you're 252, the flamethrower does 382 to 92.5%. And how much would that do to Glass Boy? 24.28. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just gonna do high horsepower. I know sacking the Chin Pao may seem like maybe a questionable play, but I genuinely did not know how to beat like Shell Smash or uh, Blastoise. Okay, Mew. What can I do here? I can U-turn. Do I want to? I can U-turn. Calm Mind. It's a Calm Mind variant. I'm just gonna keep on stalling it out. I'm gonna do... Oh, it's leftovers and... Okay. Damn, if I had like protect or something, it might have been really helpful for me. Right now, flamethrower is a 44 point. You could go for flamethrower here. So I'm gonna switch back into Gliscor. How much next chip would be like 12? Oof, if I had like roost or something that would be great for me. Damn, okay. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Glasgow. This probably doesn't kill. Yeah. 15%. Alright, so I sack man zone. New Warriors have a little bit of speed investment. I do think CC could just kill if I um bring in Cario. Are you throat spray? You're not throat spray. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Boop. Hmm. I'm always assuming max HP, so it's good. I think I'm gonna sack Magnuson. What, what are you gonna do? Flamethrower again? Alright, fair, fair, fair. I bring in... I bring in Glasgow, right? Um... What, what are your other moves? What could possibly be your other moves? I forget enough chip. 25%. You won't be like max defense, right? You definitely have some speed investment. Or else, um... 44.5 one, uh, 44.5 one, uh. and the 
cardio about this so much. Alright, I can't. I can't. I have to bring it in. Do the high horse power. Okay, interesting. Unless this crits, Mystical Fire shouldn't kill me. So, hopefully, this doesn't crit me. Yeah. Wait, was am I faster? Because that would be really. Let me check. I don't remember if I was faster. Uh, where was the Mystical Fire? Control F. Mystical Fire. I, I, I don't know. Uh, yikes. Did, would I f Fuck. I could just play it safe. If you aren't max HP, can close combat kill? No. Okay, you're not max defense. Because you have speed and dust. No. Shit. Shit. Okay, I suck. Okay, I am faster. Interesting. Okay, so the initial plan, if Sylveon was faster, I sack Glass Gore. I always live a modest myst Mystical Fire, or um, Hyper Voice, or whatever, so I could just SD and like take the kill from there. Oh man. <laughs> uh, I don't think Flamethrower kills, so I could just get some like chip right now. Yeah. Keeping, I'm just gonna high horsepower. Uh, we'll see. You. We'll see. I'm confident um, as long as we don't get a crit, or if uh, Lucario, if uh, Mew isn't modest, there there's a chance we can win this, guys. Let's see if we can bring it back. Damn, Chin would have been really nice right now. Psychic. Okay, fair, fair. 61, 60. Alright, showtime. Look, Lucario. Oh, yeah, Flint or Psychic? Uh. How much would Modest be? 6.5%. Oh, man. Okay. Oh god. Okay. I would lose anyway. I think I don't have a choice. I'm just gonna test you. Okay. Okay. Point Thor does four. Oh. Holy shit. You could have vacuum wave though. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna bullet punch. How much priority does Vacuum Wave have? One sec. Mew. Vacuum Wave. Uh, Alright. Hopefully, bullet punch outspeeds Vacuum Wave. No! Oh, shit! Oh, wow. I didn't expect to lose there. I should, maybe I should have CC'd. That was a fumble on my part. Oh man. Oh GG's.